Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to learn how to print a contact sheet in Lightroom. So I have a collection of images and I want to move over to the print module, so I'll use Command P in order to quickly move. Then I'm going to set up the page setup as well as my print settings by clicking on page setup. I'll choose my printer as well as the paper size that I'm going to print to, and in the print settings, I'll select the print settings using the driver for my printer in order to choose the options that I want. So in this case, I can change the page setup to paper tray, I can change the media type here to something a little bit less than maybe the fine art paper, unless that's something that I'm trying to deliver a client. In this case, I'll just use the enhanced matte paper, and because this is just a contact sheet, fine at 720 dpi will be perfect. Now, you might be seeing different options here because we are accessing the printer driver. So we're no longer in Lightroom, so what you see is dependent on the printer that you're printing to. But once you have this set up, you want to click Save in order to save those settings. And then over here in the layout style, we'll make sure that we're in the single image and contact sheet. Under layout, I want to remove any margins or at least get them as small as possible. And I do that by just moving all the sliders to the far left then I can determine how many rows and how many columns of images I want to see. I'll go ahead and do a quick select all or command A, control A on Windows in order to select all of the images in this collection. And it looks like I don't need quite as many. In fact, let's go ahead and bring the number of rows down to four and the number of columns down to four as well. Because I want to show you that if there are more photographs selected than our slots or cells for those images, Lightroom will automatically create as many pages as it needs. All right, so let's go ahead and move back here. We might want to add some additional information here. So I'm going to move to the page area and I'm going to add page options. I'll include page numbers and some photo information. In this case, I'm going to select file name from the list so that the file name for each image is included underneath the thumbnail. I could also add watermarking or identity plates. I can even change the page background color by clicking in the swatch and then selecting a different color. You'll notice that the type automatically reversed out when I selected a black background color, then I have white type. If I select a white background color, then I get black type. Since I'm printing this to an inkjet printer, I don't really want to waste all of that black ink, so I'll select white as my background color. Underneath the print job, I'm going to print to a printer. I can probably get away with draft mode printing, it will take less time, but it won't be quite as high of quality, so it depends on what you're after. For print resolution, I'll leave that unchecked. I'll let Lightroom and the printer driver determine the printer resolution. Then I want Lightroom to convert the image from the color space that it's in to the printer space. So for profile, I'm going to select Other. And then because I chose the enhanced matte paper with matte black ink, I need to select that from the list. Once I enable that, when I click OK, you'll notice that it appears on the list right here, so it makes it easy for me to quickly select that profile. If I thought I was going to use this template over and over again, I could go to my template browser, click on the plus icon, and then save this as my contact sheet, 8 by 10, and four by four images. I'll save it in my user templates and then click create. And if I thought that I was going to want to print this contact sheet again with these specific images, then I could create a saved print. But for now, I'm ready to print, so all I need to do is click the print icon. If you click the printer button with the three dots after it, it'll bring up the printer driver options again, which we've already set. So at this point, just click print. There you go, it's that easy to set up a contact sheet and print it from Lightroom. My name's Julianne Cost, thanks for watching.